Hello folks, how y'all doing today? This is a video on the Smith & Wesson Shield Apex Trigger. This is a complete custom trigger kit for your Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, this is a legendary trigger upgrade. It's a pretty much a legendary company. They are known for having some of the best triggers in the world. Uh, you know, originally the Smith & Wesson Shield, they have that hinge trigger they come with from the factory. And they are actually known to uh, have some failures and they can cause the gun to go dead. So this is a good reliability upgrade. It's got the conventional trigger dingus on it, or as they call it, a blade safety. Get this guy cleared and unloaded. Okay, we're clear and unloaded. Okay, so I would say, let me put this in get it over here. We got a Glock 43X, which in many people's opinion is the best Glock factory trigger pull you can get. And if we could, as you saw, I just cleared it. And the feeling of the Glock 43X is very, very, very similar to the Smith & Wesson Apex Trigger. Now, this one's a bit lighter because it comes with springs to lighten the trigger pull. It comes with a match-grade sear. Uh, it's an entire upgrade kit. It's not just the trigger. You're getting new return spring, new hammer spring, or correction, new striker spring. Uh, you're getting a, a match-grade sear. You're getting a new safety block, the whole nine yards. So it is a complete trigger upgrade solution kit, but it gives you a pull that's very similar to what the best Glock factory trigger pulls are going to give you, even crisper and a little lighter. So really, really nice. You can, you can hear how crisp that is. You can actually hear how crisp it is. That is a super crisp pull. And if we recycle it, we'll see the lock reset right there. One more time. See, that's a super short reset. There's no false reset. It's one click and good reset. So, yeah, this is a super nice trigger upgrade. You know, sometimes you pull your trigger. If a gun isn't really perfect for your hand, it'll, you'll see your sight or your reticle move left or right or up or down a little bit when the shot breaks. This one, it's just perfect for me. It just, there's like no movement at all of the reticle when I pull the trigger. So it's really nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click in some uh, shooting videos. We'll include them in this video so that you can see how it shoots, how quickly it shoots. You can see the, the kind of crazy rate of fire you can achieve with this pistol. Keeping in mind, this is a subcompact pistol. Uh, we'll put in some 100-yard shooting so you can see what this can do at 100 yards with this trigger. Okay, folks, anybody who's familiar with my uh, channel here will know where we're at. We are on my range. This is my 100-yard range. I shoot across my lake at the target down there. I will circle it for you right now. You can see it's right there beyond the boat. I'll circle it again. But we are going to do a range test here. Let me zoom back out. Of the Apex Tactical Trigger. For the Smith & Wesson Shield 1.0. They make this for the 2.0 and the Plus and a variety of other handguns. Uh, this is a lightened 3.5 to 4 pound trigger pull. It's a shorter, crisper trigger than the factory trigger. And it has a uh, blade safety on there, a little trigger dingus. So this is a really good trigger. We're going to be using a Sig Romeo Zero. We have a set of uh, H3 light pipes from HVIZ, HiViz on here. Which we will not be using, but which are great for co-witnessing. And uh, getting the dot lined up quickly. And we have a recover tactical rail on this guy. So this is pretty much a fully pimped out customized Smith & Wesson shield. We're going to be using Winchester USA steel case range ammo. So this is just regular steel case bulk pack. Nothing special. Standard pressure. 115 grain. And we're going to see how we do on that target. Okay, folks, so we're going to be using these Mag Guts Plus 2 kits. So we got a 10 plus 1 round capacity. We got our Warbird shooting glasses on, so we don't have to worry about our eyes. And uh, let's see how we do. Let's see if we can't get some hits on. Now, when we hit this target, it's, it's welded on a two steel post. So instead of a ring, you'll get a tick. Tick, tick, tick. You'll hear it hitting. Okay, let's see how we do.
Okay, so you guys see how this shoots. You saw how well it shot. 12 by 20 inch IDPA target at 100 yards is no problem. This is an extremely accurate handgun to begin with. But when you put a trigger like this and a red dot on top of it, it's like a pocket size sniper weapon. And the uh, red dot installation was done by Galloway Precision. And we got that backed up with some high vis H3 sights. And we have our recovered tactical rail so we can mount a weapon mounted light if we want to. Okay. And I'll put links in the description for all these items. Uh, but yeah, this is a completely pimped out, fully modernized uh, Smith & Wesson shield. And with the Mad Guts Plus 2 kit, which I'll also put a link, you have 10 plus 1 capacity. So you're at the max 50 state legal. And it's a very compact gun. And it looks super cool. And I think that with the rail... And the trigger, they kind of go together. They really look, the geometry of them looks like they were designed that way to work together. So, very, very neat uh, pistol. Very, very, very nice trigger. Really good setup, and I highly recommend it to you folks. Okay, guys, you all have a wonderful day. Free by me out.